Hi everyone. Today we'll be looking into uh, basically two plugins. They are the payment gateway plugin and the email alert plugin. The first we'll begin with payment gateway plugin. The payment gateway plugin or the pay plugin can be used to make transactions using Fedina. These settings for the payment gateway plugin has to be purchased from the payment gateway provider. It is the payment gateway provider that provides you to enter the settings to enable payment gateway. It can be done in two ways. One way is to enter the settings in your accounts panel and second way is to enter the same settings using the using your Fedina instance. You can choose either of these two ways and enable the payment gateway. So first we will begin with entering the settings in the payment gate uh, in your accounts panel. We will go to company on the top right corner after logging into your accounts panel. And here you will be able to see that payment gateway. Four options will be there, payment gateway, school and other details. This shows you all the details of the accounts panel. So once you have seen that you can go to payment gateway and here you will be able to see the payment gateway details. You can add a new payment gateway by selecting the add new gateway option on the right side. I'll just show you the payment gateway that I have configured. Here I have configured for pay you. These are the settings. You can find here that configuration fields, variable fields and response parameters can be given. These settings is basically like a parameter mapping that is being done. You give the name and the corresponding value for that particular parameter. Once you have done this payment gateway, you will be able to make transactions for student fee details such as uh, student fees that you have configured in finance, application registration fee, hostel fee and the transport fee. The, this, uh, there are basically seven pay, payment gateways that can be configured. They are the PayU, PayPal, Interswitch, Authorize.net, Stripe, Braintree and CC Avenue. Apart from this, you can also use your customized payment gateway which can be again purchased from the payment gateway provider. But please, no, please note that these settings should be first verified before you uh, use, start using the payment gateway. After verifying these settings, you can use this, uh, trans you can do transaction using Fedina. So once you have done the payment gateway, you can you will be able to make transactions using Fedina. After making making a payment gateway settings in the com, in your uh, com, uh, payment gateway in your accounts panel, you will have to inherit this settings into the school so as to use so that the school can use these settings for payment gateway. This can be done by going to schools and selecting the particular school and going to gateway. Here you will be able to see all the payment gateway de details. Again, you will have an option called assign gateway or select gateway. On selecting the same, you will be able to see all the payment gateways that have been configured for your accounts panel for the company. So once you have checked, this payment gateway will be saved and after that it will appear in the list as shown here. This list will show all the payment gateway that have been inherited to the school. First the settings are done in the company and then only the payment gateways can be inherited to the school. Now that we have seen the payment gateway configuration in the accounts panel, we will now see the payment gateway configuration 
how is it done in your Fedina school instance I'll just take my Fedina school instance after logging into your Fedina school instance you can go to your payment gateway plugin that is the online payment after going to administration online payment you will get three options for entering the settings they are the settings option the transaction and the custom gateway we will look into each of these options in detail the settings option shows basically two fields they are the enable online payment and the payment gateway as I said earlier the enable online payment will show the details for which the settings for which this pay online payment can be done here you can see student fee application registration hostel fee and transport fee on checking or unchecking this fields you will be able to or deselect the required parameters the next option is the payment gateway here all the payment gateway configured for in this Fedina instance will appear in this list so in this I have configured the config uh, payment gateway for PayPal so that's the reason why this is appearing here if you have not enabled any payment gateway this field will be left blank next we'll move on to the transactions transactions are nothing but they give you the list of all the transactions that have been made for a given time period any transaction made within this time period will be listed here next is the payment, ga uh, payment gateway in the customized manner that is the custom gateway on selecting the same you will see the option to add new gateway here I am selecting it the same parameter fields that are available in your accounts panel will appear here fields such as name configuration fields vari variable field response parameters these settings have to be in, got from your payment gateway provider and after getting the same you can enter here once you have entered the settings you can save the, save the same I'll just show you the one that I have configured for my Fedina instance Here you can see that I have configured the settings for payment gateway here name can be given under the configuration field various parameters have been entered similarly for variable fields I have entered parameters and its values and for the response parameters also I have done I would like to mention few points be, uh, regarding the payment gateway it should be noted that only a student or a pay parent can only make a payment or use the payment plugin he or she can log into his profile go to the any transaction such as fees and select the required uh, payment that should be done at a time only one payment plugin can be selected here in the settings you can see if you have configured more than one payment gateways it will be listed here out of these only one payment gateway can be selected and that can that only can be used so once you have configured all the settings you can save it I'll just show you a payment done by a student just for an example I have logged in as a student I'll, the student tries to make payments for its fees in the finance module that has been configured by that man here you can see the list of all paid and unpaid fees I'll select any unpaid fees 
and make the payment. Here you can see that if the payment gateway configuration has been done, the initialization of the payment process is begun and if the settings everything has been done correctly then the payment will be proceeded. Now the configuration for PayPal has been done that's the reason why the details have been asked by the PayPal payment gateway provider. So here you can see the details in the PayPal payment account. You can enter the required transaction details and proceed with the same. So this was regarding the online payment gateway or the pay gateway. One more thing that I would like to mention is that before you begin with any plugin it should be noted that that school or the particular school has that plugin. It can be checked by going to the school's profile in your accounts panel, selecting the plugin here you will be able to see the plugins that have been assigned to the school. On selecting the edit option, you will be able to check or uncheck the payment gateway. Since I have che I've checked here the payment gateway plugin or the pay plugin, it's appearing here. It depends upon the privilege that the admin wants to give to the school. If the same option has been disabled, the pay plugin that you have seen under administration, the online payment plugin, will not be enabled. So it should be noted that this plugin has been enabled before you proceed with the online payment plugin. Now that we are done with the online payment plugin, I'll move to the next plugin that we are going to discuss that is the email alert plugin. Email alert plugin or the email alert can be also configured in two ways. One method is to do the settings for the email alert in the company and the one method involves doing it for the particular school. Note that all the settings for the email alert is done only in your accounts panel. So here we'll proceed by showing you the email settings in the company. After select going to company you can go to email and here you will get an option to enter the settings for email. You'll, here since I have already entered the settings, the edit option has been shown or else you will have an option called to add to add the settings. So I'll just show the one that I have configured. Here similar to what we have seen before, the email settings or the SMTP settings have to be obtained from the SMTP pro providers. There are a lot of SMTP providers in the market. You can pur purchase the settings from the same and enter these settings. Once the settings have been entered in the SMTP settings, you can save it and the same settings has to be then verified. It should be noted that unless the settings have been verified successfully, the SMTP settings or the email settings won't work. Now after click clicking the verify settings option you can see that my SMTP settings are, is perfectly working for the school. Here my school name is Roshan that's why it's, it shows here or, your, or else your school will be shown, school name will be shown. So once the settings are, are working perfectly you can verify that the settings can be used for your Fedina or Fedina instance. Now after configuring the email settings in the company, the settings f can be inherited to the school. That is by going to the particular school and selecting the profile of the school. Here you will see that you will get an option called inherit email settings. This email settings or this option allows the user or gives the user the privilege to enter only the settings one time. You don't have to enter the settings 
again for the school on selecting this checkbox the settings done in your company will automatically be inherited to the school and then after saving it you can confirm that the settings have been saved the second method that I mentioned earlier involves going to your school and ent entering the settings for the school specifically here you can see that I have also entered the same settings for the school this scenario comes when there are schools which opt for different SMTP providers or different SMTP settings if you have more than one school you can use more than one SMTP provider settings and enter the same the only option that you have in email, uh, email alert plugin or the advantage that you have is that it allows you to inherit the settings the second scenario comes where you have more than one SMTP providers this allows you to enter multiple settings for different schools now that we have verified the settings and confirm that the settings are working fine we'll go to our Fidena instance and check for the plugin again before proceeding please check whether the particular plugin is enabled for you or not here you can see that the email alert plugin has been enabled and after checking the same you can save it After logging into your Fedena school instance, you can go to collaboration and then email. These are the basic fields that appear once the email alert plugin has been enabled we'll be looking into each of these options in detail first we'll look into the settings option the settings option allows the user to select or uncheck the parameters or the fields that are required to be selected before a default email has been sent this settings are done only for default email note that there are two methods we can send email one is the default email or other method is to send manually to the users of Fedina such as employees students and the guardian so this settings allows you to check or uncheck the settings for the default email we have default email settings for common event creation, daily wise attendance registration, employee creation, employee creation for batch, event creation for employee, examination result publishing, examination scheduling publishing, fee collection creation, fee submission, leave approval, leave creation, parent creation, poll creation, student creation, subject wise attendance registration and transfer batch on checking these option if the email settings and the e email ID has been registered for these users that is the student parent or the guardian the email alerts will be sent to the respective email IDs so now you can see that I checked most of the checkboxes for default email settings so this will allow me to send or allow the user to send the default email to these users so whenever for example if we take fee submission so whenever there is a fee submission made a default email will go to the student and the parent to the respective email ID this email ID is entered at the time of admission both for the student and parent the email ID used by the admin would be the one registered with him since the admin user ID is given 
here it will use the same email ID to send the default email settings so once we have seen the settings here we'll go to the other options then three options that are to employees to students and the guardians are manual methods used to send to these users we have seen the settings option option is used to send the default email whereas these three options are used so to send the manual email we'll check each of these option if the emails have been registered for the employees in the department the employees will appear here note that if you have not configure, configured email settings or the email register uh, email id it will not list here it will show the user as in a light format it will not be in a bold you will not get the option to add a user so once you have registered email id with the employee you can add him give a subject with a message and send it once the mail is sent uh, an option will come which shows that the mail has been sent successfully similarly we'll check for the students so as we have said earlier for the students also the email should be registered at the time of admission and only once it has been registered will the students appear to add them in the as a recipient so once the student has been added you can give the message subject that is required give a message and send it similarly for the guardian also if the email has been registered for the guardian it will appear here a respective subject and a message can be given and sent now we have seen how to send emails by default and using the manual method the last option is the unsubscription list this gives you the list of all students that have been that have used the unsubscribed option note that whenever a default email settings or default email is, is been sent to the student a unsubscribed a subscription link will be sent to the email so whenever that unsubscription link is sent the user can select that link and make it unsubscribed so whenever a student selects the unsubscribed option he will be listed here so since we don't have any unsubscribed student it doesn't list here so whenever there is a scenario where students have unsubscribed you can select it here and get to know so if you are either admin and want don't want any students as unsubscribed you can select the student here which will eventually lead you to his profile i'll just show you an example so once you have uh, selected the student in the subscribe list it will take you to this profile of the student here on selecting the profile you can go to edit and check the enable email feature this will automatically move the student from the unsubscribed list and make him subscribed so what happens when a student unsubscribes is that this feature or this enable enable email feature gets unchecked so the admin can 
go to his profile, check it and update it. So now we have seen both the email alert, alert and the payment gateway plugin. That's the end of the video gentlemen. Thank you.